Shaman, with the grand tournament upon us, it's finally time for us to realize our lifelong dream of playing a viable totem deck. I'll admit it's hard to believe, but here's a deck list as proof. You'll need the following cards. A total of 4,280 arcane dust would be required to craft them all. Starting with the class cards, add one earth shock, two rock biter weapons, two flame tongue totems, two totem golems, two hexes, two lightning storms, one mana tide totem, two tuscar totemics, one bloodlust, two thunder bluff valiants, two fire elementals, and alakir the wind lord. Then in the neutrals, two zombie chows, two haunted creepers, one defender of argus, two piloted shredders, two Azure Drakes, and finally, Dr. Boom. Your aim with this deck is to seize control of the board early on with your cheap high-value minions and removal. Once you've got the board, which shouldn't take long, you'll obviously want to keep it and start chipping away at your opponent's life total until they're within range of one of your big finishers like Bloodlust, Thunderbluff Valiant, or even Alakir. Totem Shaman does reasonably well against pretty much anything out there if piloted correctly. It's not always an easy deck to play. When you mulligan, you should be looking for those Zombie Chows, Totem Golems, Haunted Creepers, and Tuscar Totemics. Consider keeping Earthshock, Rockbiter, and Lightning Storm against aggro. Your biggest lifesavers and game changers are your totem synergies and crazy burst potential. While combos aren't all that important in this deck, you could shoot for Alakir with Rockbiter or the old unthreatening board of 1-1s or totems into lethal or board clear using Bloodlust or Thunderbluff Valiant. Also, always consider your minion and totem positioning for maximum value. It takes a mere moment and can be the difference between a win and a loss. For a full deck list, further instructions, mulligan guides, replacement cards, and more, check the description of the video. Happy that. Yeah.